I want you to smell great. I want you to smell like me for life. <laughs> Oh, hell a bit, it's your boy Big Bid B, and we back for another edition of Big Bid Business. All right, so a few weeks ago, the homie Timmy over at Imagine Sense challenged me to a duel. And in today's video, the B Gang strikes back. Well, I guess it's really not that serious, but it sounds exciting. All Jokes Society tagged me in a video with a bit of a challenge to limit my designer fragrances to 10 fragrances for life, like Eddie Murphy and Martin. Life. I mean, that's pretty hard to do, Timmy. Like, what are you thinking, man? Who does stuff like that? I mean, that's not like one for every, you know, week. Like, it's not even one for every month. Like, what are you doing? But I'm a man and I can handle it. Aside from that, my people over at Scentbird hit me up with a little tweet tweet and they said they rocking with me. So if I say, hey, I got Scentbird with me, then I can do this. Now I was gonna break these fragrances down to like four different categories. Like, oh, here you go for spring. Oh no, here you go for summer and fall. And special occasions like taking someone's girl. But I'm like, no man, you always wanna get complimented. And if you can get complimented, you can take someone's girl. These fragrances mean something to me, okay? These fragrances have a story. They're like a part of me, like forever. So without any further ado, and in no particular order, we are gonna hop into my list. So I think the first fragrance I wanna to talk to you about today is uh, Victor and Roth Spice Balm Extreme. Now this one here is like blackberries, it's grapefruit, it's spicy, it's sweet. This one here is a compliment monster, man. I love to get compliments. And this one here has never failed me. Like I like the original Spice Balm. Um, actually, it's kind of one of the best ones to me, but this one gets more compliments. Therefore, I love this one more. As you guys know, I I live in Florida and um, a lot of you guys give me flack man like oh how are you wearing these heavy spicy fragrances all year because I do man sometimes I tell the weather you know I do what I want to do and this one is a very enjoyable fragrance man I really like this one um anytime I wear this you know yeah it gets spicy it gets spicy with my senorita this will always have a special place in my heart, man, because this one can be used for date nights. It can also be used in the cooler weather, and this one performs like a champ. So this one will always be with me for life, and if I ever want to blow it up, I just remove the pen. This next fragrance has some woody nuances in it as well, but it has a fresh opening. The fragrance I'm talking to you guys about is no stranger to my channel. One I've been talking about a lot as it's starting to grow more and more on me. And this one comes from the house of Coach and it's Coach for Men. This one is like a workhorse fragrance. You can kind of use this for everything, man. You got that bergamot, you got that pear, you got that ambergris in this one. And I thoroughly enjoy this one. This one garners me compliments. It performs well. Well, this one made my spring list, made my wife spring list, and one that I thoroughly enjoy. Now, this is my first bottle of this one. Obviously, it's come out recently. Um, I enjoy it, man. Like, my, my sons wear it. I like it. My wife likes it. And this is one that I would, I can see myself keeping in the collection for a very long time or for life, if you will. And because this is a coach fragrance, I might just be thinking, you know, way ahead of time here but i feel like this one's going to go to discounters and be really cheap um which is going to be great pickup because who doesn't love a cheap fragrance this one is quality it smells nothing like being cheap it's far from it i thoroughly enjoy this one as you guys can tell from weekly fragrance rotations super dope fragrance this next fragrance that i'm going to talk to you guys about today is like one of my all-time favorite fragrances. I talked about this one. I, you know what's crazy about it? I do not have a full review on this one. This one was part of my most worn fragrances to the point where a subscriber actually sent me a new bottle because I was done with it. Um, this one stands out, man. I talk about it all the time. You guys thoroughly enjoy it and it can be had for cheap. Like the memories with this one, there's like so many memories, so many memories. Um, this one is Burberry Touch. Now, I used to wear this one a lot in high school, man. Like this was like one of my signature fragrances in high school. This one is a woody, musky, floral based fragrance that's very fresh. It kind of has like a powdery smell to it. And this one is super dope. So dope that my people over at Scentbird have this one readily available, man. You look, this is a little travel spray. You know, I'm taking this along with me because when I can't take the big boy, I just spray this one on, man. So much juice. I can carry this around in my pocket and always, always, always smell like I'm ready to be touched. 
Burberry Touch, man. This one is like near and dear to my heart. Um, I've had so many bottles of this one over the years, and I might buy like an army of Burberry Touch. Like a suburban touch army. All right, so this next fragrance, I don't know if um, Timmy is going to allow this one in, but to me, this one is a designer fragrance because he makes clothing as well, and it's not niche, okay? To me, you can pick this one up at Sephora in a store, so therefore, it is designer. This one comes from the house of Margiela, and this one is Replica by the Fireplace. You guys know about this replica line, man. I have gave this one a perfect 10 out of 10. This one just... Man, memories will be created with this fragrance. This one is one you spray on and you cuddle up with your boo thing, you know? Man, my wife loves this fragrance. I love this one. You spray this one on and it just happens, man. The magic happens. You have like a campfire. Like imagine walking around smelling like a campfire. It's sweet, it's smoky, it's woody. It lasts an extremely long time, and man, this one is a fragrance that I came across and I will keep with me forever and a day, you know, like the day I croak. This one will be with me for life. All right, so our next fragrance, man, we five fragrances in already. Comes from the house of Nejma, and it's Nejma number seven. This one here has this oriental type of vibe, man. Um, you have cacao, you have coconut. This one is like next level to me. I thoroughly enjoy this fragrance. I don't hear a lot of people talk about this one or the house in itself. Um, I don't see it around a lot, but I picked this one up from Macy's down in Boca. Man, this one is super, super dope. It opens up with like the citrus in the front, but it's not really citrus smelling, if that makes any sense at all. You have vanilla in this one, and it is amazing. This is another one that you spray this one on. You're gonna garner a ton of compliments, and it's gonna make the ladies wanna cuddle up next to you, man. This one is nice. Again, you got the fruit, you got patchouli, you got musk, you got wood, oriental type of vibe, vanilla in this one, man. I thoroughly enjoy this one. And as long as I can find this fragrance, this one will always be a mainstay in my fragrance collection. The next fragrance comes from the house of Chanel. This one is Chanel Allure Homme Edition Blanche. Man, this one is a fragrance that um, I thoroughly enjoy. I think this one is more difficult to find, and it's not one of the, I guess none of these are really cheap, but there's a few of them that are less expensive, but this one here um, opens up with lemon, opens up with bergamot, and you have like this woody uh, mid, and then you have this vanilla and the dry down, man. I really enjoy this fragrance. This one's been described as a lemon meringue pie. I like this one, man. I thoroughly enjoy this fragrance. I like what they did with it, um, and it works. It works well for the type of environment that I am in. This is another one that I gave a perfect 10. Like, one of the few fragrances that I've given a perfect 10. Dope, super nice fragrance for the house, man. If you haven't had a chance to get your nose on it, man, I would tell you to do that sooner than later if you can find it. I know a lot of people reach out to me and say, hey, I'm having difficulty finding this one in the store. Blind buy it. You won't be disappointed. It's an expensive blind buy, but I really enjoy this one. My wife likes it. Everyone that um, I've allowed to smell this one enjoys it. Edition Blanche. The next fragrance comes from the house of Sean John, and this one is Sean John's Unforgivable. Look, this is maybe my third or fourth bottle of this fragrance here, so obviously I don't have any plans on getting this one out of the collection. I went a few years without this one, but I searched for it. Like, I went and found it. I went and found you. Never let go. This one is so, so, so nice, man. I know a lot of you guys out there would think this one is synthetic. You'll say this one doesn't smell good, but to me, oh man, this is, is great. It's an awesome fragrance. It reminds me of like my younger days, you know, when I was just a, you know, just a little high schooler. Maybe I was out of high school at this time, man. I'm not sure. But what I do think, I feel like over the time, the bottle on this one has changed. It's still the same format, but I believe like, I thought this was like a darker purple. I could be wrong there. I just could be reminiscing incorrectly. <laughs> um, the designer realm, this one is the way to go, but if you want this one in the niche edition that you want to pick up, um, Bonds Wall Street. I like this one. Yes, you'll say it's synthetic. I know a lot of people will, but sometimes synthetic is good, man. This one is nice, at least to me, and will always hold a special place in my heart. Sean John's Unforgivable, plus it's a cheapie. Now, this next fragrance comes from the master of seduction himself. This one is from Tom Ford, and it's Tom Ford's Noir Extreme. Listen, this one is like seduction in a bottle. 
okay? Especially in the designer world, you have everything that, you know, makes a fragrance attractive. You have vanilla, yep. You have saffron, yep. You have, um, nutmeg to give it that little bit of sweetness and you got some weird notes in this one too i think there's pistachio in the opening here like i remember as a kid my dad used to always eat pistachios like a bunch of them like a ton like a lot but this one man i, I thoroughly enjoy this one. you have cardamom in here this one is good for seducing people it's good for work it's good for winter it's good for fall this is good for cuddling this one is good just to say you have it in your fragrance collection because you should. Um, if you don't, I don't know why not. This one is a piece of art in a bottle. This one means a lot to me. Did you pick this one out? Did my wife pick this one out for me? Did you? She was when I purchased this one and she thoroughly enjoyed it. Part of the reason why I bought it and um, as long as this one's around, it will be in the collection. You guys know all about that one. I think I have a full review on it. If I do, I'll link it below. This next fragrance is a flanker of one of the best-selling fragrances of all times. And if I said that, you guys probably know what I'm talking about. So this one is the one in the little black bottle. You know, this one is Aqua de Joe Profumo. What happened to my bottle, man? It's all like damaged. Did the other fragrances beat you up? They were hating on it, man. So this one is a super dope fragrance and this one is another workhorse fragrance like this is one that you can wear to the office you can wear this just on a casual day you can wear this one lazy you can wear this one out on a date if you so choose this one is like aromatic it's aquatic but it still has this woody base in it man what i'm noticing a lot of these fragrances have like a woody aquatic type of feel to them some of these are darker and more floral but man this one is a workhorse fragrance it can be used all year round for anything, almost any situation, you can get away with this one. And this one, you have some C notes in this one. You have lavender, uh, maybe some geranium in this one. I thoroughly enjoy this one. And a lot of people out in the frag comp enjoy this one as well. This is one that will stay in the collection forever. As long as I can keep it, it will be near and dear to me because when in doubt, I can profumo it out. I can just rock this one and know that I'm good to go and I won't offend anyone. I may get some compliments and it's going to perform. So this one is one of the last ones. We're getting down to the very last one. But before we get into the very last fragrance, look, man, if you're looking to get any of these type of fragrances or you're looking to find your 10 for life fragrances, holla at my people over Semper, okay? Because for $14.95, you can grab you some. You get, you know, 8 ml. You can go ahead and take it around with you and smell until you find those 10 that really mean the world to you. And once you find them, just go ahead and buy the bottle, man. Um, now, because you're my people, you know, I'm gonna hook you up with a discount code below. If you're new to Scentbird, you know, use BBB30 and you're gonna get 30% off of your order, your first month subscription. Now, if you're a baller, shot caller, and you like a lot of things, man, you can get a multiple vial option where you can get two or three fragrances in one month, you know, and rotate. Who wants to smell like the same thing every day so i'll leave the code below for you guys and additionally i'm going to give away two of my favorite fragrances so burberry touch and the final one that i'm talking to you guys about today is dolce and gabbana the one this one is a like a romantic fragrance man i remember when this one first came out um i actually picked it up after work one day man this is like super dope this is like my, my third bottle but this one is the collector's edition if it looks a little weird to you because I'm a collector. The only thing that people knock this fragrance on is the performance on this one. I feel like the Eau de Parfum, if you're looking to get that one, that one works as well. This one smells nice, man. It's like seductive. It gets the job done. It's light enough where it's not going to choke people out. And it's smooth. It's a very smooth fragrance. They did a great job on this one. They also have a woman's version as well. You have the Eau de Parfum, you have the Eau de Toilette. This one has been going strong for, I don't know, maybe 10 years now. That sound about right? I'm not sure. I have to, you know, I, I guess you guys might not care about that. But this one is a nice fragrance and has been around for, in my collection for quite some time, man. This was extremely hard to do, like to narrow it down to 10 fragrances. There were like so many that I wanted to add. But these, to me, are ones that I thoroughly enjoy. My wife enjoys them as well. So that makes a big difference. That makes a big, big difference as long as my life partner enjoys the fragrances that I'm going to wear for life. That makes a difference. That's what I have, man. These are my 10 fragrances for life. I feel like these fragrances will get me by. If you ever watch any of the weekly fragrance rotation videos, these have been in there maybe multiple times. Why? Because they mean something to me. So if you just comment below and say, hey, Big Beer B, name one of your fragrances for life, all right? 
Name one of your fragrances of life and you'll be entered in a chance to win not one, but two samples or two vials or two months. These are 30 day supplies for the homies over at um, Semper. I'm going to give these to you. You have Burberry Touch and you also have Dolce & Gabbana, the one. I want you to smell great. I want you to smell like me for life. As always, I'm your boy, Big Beard B. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, tell a friend to tell a friend that we are back again. And tell them about the discount code below and hit the goddamn 